Hello everyone and welcome to our latest YouTube video from the Silicon Nubian YouTube channel. Today we have a review of another Ubuntu derivative but a special one. This is LXLE Linux version 14.04 based on Ubuntu LTS release. The LXE Linux is guaranteed to have uh, pertinent updates uh, for a number of years after its release. The claim to fame of LXE Linux is uh, low running overhead with you, which uses very little system resources and how it accomplishes this is using the LXDE desktop environment, a very low weight desktop environment both on the amount of RAM that it uses and Consequently, the uh, amount of CPU that's necessary to run it. LXLE Linux is fantastic for older machines as well as newer machines. You have that old laptop sitting there, that six or seven year old uh, laptop uh, with an older Celeron or Turion processor. Um, you have an older desktop, maybe a Core 2 Duo with one gig of RAM. Well, dust it off. Take it out of the closet and install LXLE and you'll have a modern, up-to-date operating system running with surprisingly good performance. So let's get going. What you see in front of you is the desktop post-install. Directly after install, this is what the desktop uh, you'll be presented with. Uh, very serene and a beautiful desktop background. Uh, you also have a little resource monitor here which can be turned off by simply by clicking here on and off doesn't really show you a lot of information it shows you your CPU usage uh, the amount of RAM using and uh, your hard drive uh, how much of the capacity that you're using also the battery and whatnot so we'll turn that off on the bottom taskbar we have of course the switch to turn on and off the uh, information display we have uh, volume. We have the weather. This is interesting. Uh, when you do click on this, it'll ask you what city, and you enter it, and uh, country, and whatnot, and it'll give you the weather. We have settings for that as well. Location. I'll have it for Celsius and uh, kilometers per hour. Of course, we're metric here in Canada. Opacity, which is very good. Uh, if you want to make it um, See through on the desktop if you have the right video hardware. Very good. The date, of course, the time, the trash can, waste management. Okay. Uh, on the left side, we have it has two desktops desktop two and desktop one. We have, of course, quick launch, which is interesting. We have a uh, show hide windows button. We have a random wallpaper. Uh, we have the file manager. We can access our home directories plus the desktop directory. Well, our home directories, desktop directory is part of it uh, quite quickly. Or we can open the file manager. The file manager for LXLE, LXLE Linux is PCMan FM version 1.2, uh, which while light in use is um, quite reasonably, be reasonably featureful. And um, I enjoy it. It's pretty good. works very well. Very fast, as you would expect in a Linux that's designed for lightweight. Even though I say that, I should point out that while it's designed to operate well on older devices, it's just as capable uh, on newer devices. And you will see that the developers for LXLE LE Linux have done a fantastic job in, in presenting a full-featured Linux distribution, even though it's designed from the get-go to operate well on slower machines. Uh, over here we have the file menu uh, which is pretty standard. Um, what I like about this distribution right off the bat is the simplicity of it. It doesn't wow you with a lot of uh, boom and bang and flash. It, it really is functional in, in a very tasteful way and I like that. We should, before I start on the file menu, just check the right click menu. Quite simple. You can create new folder, empty files, 
select all invert sort files desktop preferences we'll go there we have appearance where you can put in your back your background uh, the fonts that will be used color of the text the shadow desktop icons we can show hide certain icons there's the trash icon I can show it hide it documents icon uh, a lot of different things I can show there. Show connected volumes, of course, virtual box, editions, disc, it's inside uh, the virtual CD drive. Then we have advanced, show menus provided by window managers, use desktop as folder. This I'll leave as it is now. It's operating just the way I like it. Here we go. Now we go to the file menu. Let's see what's installed in LXLE Linux. Go up to accessories. We have ooh, quite a number of... Uh, Interesting software with a file manager, of course, gedit, uh, key pass. That's interesting. How many of us have so many passwords we can't keep up? <laughs> we have uh, menu editor, which is nice to have there. Random wallpaper, screenshot, weather, archiver. Hmm, they look like most of their bases are covered. We have an education uh, selection here. And we have LibreOffice Math, which I believe shows that LibreOffice is included. What a massive plus that is. We have games for those who like to uh, spend some time just whiling some hours away in between other more important things. Graphics, document viewer, font viewer, font manager. So we have GIMP image editor, LibreOffice draw. Wow, well, shot well. They've really uh, put some very good software on here. Internet, Chatzilla, the default. Web browser is SeaMonkey. Um, SeaMonkey is a very capable browser, and in this case, it's the Mozilla build of SeaMonkey. So it's it's a nice plus. Also, you know that <clears throat> you can install anything else you want. So that's the beauty of Linux um, or any operating system. That is, what you see here is not necessarily what you get, but it looks like they've covered all their bases very well. Hats off to the developers. Um, Office, we have, yes, LibreOffice is included. Uh, while if it wasn't, you could probably go out and get it simply from the Software Manager or Synaptic, and LXLE has both, by the way. But it's good to know that you can be productive right off the bat with um, LibreOffice. Home Bank, uh, easy accounting for everybody. You got ebook reader, very nice. Document viewer, very good. A lot of address manager, calendar, sound and video. We have Audacity. I have some nice things here. Record my desktop. Interesting that that would be in sound and video, but I guess yeah, it would be in video. And uh, XF Burn, burning application, of course. Uh, video player here. System tools. Ooh, looks like we're chock full of system tools. We have Samba, Rocks Term, which is the terminal. Uh, simple printer setup to add printers to the system. Uh, very nice. Task manager, of course. We have a nice task manager here showing. Uh, at present, the desktop is using 248 megabytes. That actually was down when I had first installed it, but that's still quite a little bit of memory um, compared to, for example, K some KDE distributions, which right off the bat, looking at a blank desktop, are using over 700 megs of, of RAM. So I would call this uh, fairly low use and um, pretty good for RAM-starved systems. Like I said, this should run comfortably in a system with 1 gig of RAM. 2 would be a lot better, obviously, but, you know, some of us don't have that luxury. Uh, system backup, again, going back to the system tools, we have um, scheduled tasks, software center. Fantastic tool for installing software, in particular for new users. Um, for example, if I wanted to install Firefox, I would do a search, and there we have it. Firefox web browser is available. And uh, <clears throat> I would add to the app basket, or I would just double click and, you know, get some information on it, and then I would. Um, add to the basket and I would check for reviews pretty complete I'm very impressed and again what I like about it it presents all these apps they're not full of bling or extra fluff you don't need but they're done in a very elegant manner and uh, the performance is fantastic um, go to updates there is an update manager and updates are done through the synaptic pack 
package manager, which is pretty much uh, extremely well known, obviously, in the Linux world, a very capable package manager. And um, if you used Ubuntu uh, releases or derivatives such as Mint and whatnot, you'll know the two pronged approach they have to installing software with the Software Center and, um, of course, Synaptic. And as we continue, we have search, run, of course, shut down if you want to shut down the system. What I've observed so, f observed so far from LXLE is I like it a lot. I think it would be good not just for um, older systems, but even relatively newer systems that want a full-featured uh, long-term service, Ubuntu-based derivative, but it's been jazzed up quite a bit, and they've done a great uh, job. I'm talking about the developers in balancing uh, available applications, performance, and um, system footprint, resource footprint, is if you want to call it that. Uh, they've done a lot to this, and I, I like it a lot. It's um, going into one of the HTPC builds that I have, which, by the way, I hope to be showing on YouTube in the Silicon Nubian channel in the near future next week or two and I will be using LXLE as the operating system of chores choice to install on the home theater PC that I will be building uh, uh, running Kodi of course and uh, of course there's an extra step in Ubuntu uh, to installing Kodi it's just about adding the PPA the PPA is not a problem and uh, as we go back, we'll notice some other things that are here. I notice a few things, not necessarily with individual packages, but with this one application here. Here we are. PPA Manager. If you've used Ubuntu before, you know what PPAs are. And here's a very nice manager to add and manage your PPAs. Uh, I think it's a fantastic addition. I like it a lot. Again, it shows the the inclusion of that shows how thoughtful the developers of LXLE are in creating a really top tier out of box experience for Linux. And uh, I would rate this as highly recommended. So there you have it. My quick and dirty review of LXLE Linux version 14.4. 14.04 I'm sorry and I uh, hope you continue to watch my videos and post any kind of comments suggestions critiques or whatnot if you'd like to see a Linux distribution um, reviewed uh, I'll be more than happy to do it I'm also very interested in in reviewing Linux distributions that may not sit in the top 10 or 15 or 20 at DistroWatch for example but some more obscure distributions out there there's quite a bit out there that are very, very good and uh, yet don't get the praise that they should. But LXLE rates very highly. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again very soon.